One really unique feature of active roles is the ability to do something called virtual attributes. Think of a virtual attribute as a schema extension to Active Directory without doing a schema extension. Every customer out there has something that they want to do in AD, some data that they want to store in Active Directory, but they can't do it because they don't want to do a schema update. People are afraid of schema updates. So in Active Roles, we can create as many schema updates as we want and keep them inside of Active Roles by itself. Let me show you. Here in Active Roles, you can see I have a couple of schema updates, and we'll, we'll use something silly and fictitious here just for the heck of it, favorite ice cream flavor. So, for example, let's say that in my particular company, every Friday is ice cream day, and somebody is responsible for bringing in ice cream every Friday. The problem with that is, what kind of ice cream do we buy, and how much of that ice cream do we buy? So let's store that inside the user. When I go over here, you can see that the display name is this, and I'm storing it in the user class. And for those of you guys who understand LDAP and Active Directory, you'll understand exactly what that is. This particular one is a, um, is a directory string, so we can store pretty much whatever we want in there. Let's take a look at that in practice. Again, like I said, I can show this attribute just along with anything else. So here, I'm going to go into our web interface and I'm going to open up this user. Once I do, you can see all kinds of information about the user, but what I really care about is their favorite ice cream flavor, which I put right down here. Now, what I've done is I've taken that particular attribute and I used a policy to force active roles to only let me pick one of the three flavors, either chocolate, vanilla, or strawberry. I could then use some other processes in active roles we'll talk about later, like a dynamic group, to actually get me the sizes of how many people like each particular ice cream flavor. And then I would know exactly how many users like what ice cream flavor. While this is a silly example, what it really shows us is the power of storing data. There are all kinds of things that we want to store, data about who requested a group to be created, information about some, somebody's manager, whatever it is we want to store, we can store that in active roles and do whatever we want with that and use that to do other things later. And we'll get into what we can do with that data once it exists in active roles. Hopefully you see the power of the virtual attribute and why it can help you do lots of different things all over the product. And as we go through some of these other things, you'll see virtual attributes sprinkled here and there and used for other things.